So in today's video, we are going to create this seamless typographic animation inside of After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 seconds and background color is black color but let's choose white color for this and simply hit ok and then hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action. Now we will create another composition. I'll call it as text strip and height I'm going to choose 100 like this and simply hit ok. Then press Ctrl Y to create a solid BG. So I'll call it as BG and simply hit OK and let's lock this layer. Now select your text tool and type whatever text you want. I'm going to type motion graphics and for the font I'm going to choose Poppins bold version. Select this font. Uh, let's decrease the distance between these alphabets like this. Select this. Hit Ctrl C. Hit go over here and hit tab or hit spacebar two times to create something like this let's increase the distance between these words yeah now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this so you're gonna get this kind of stuff let's disable this title safe actions so we can see properly the script and now select your rectangle selection tool and I don't want any fill now so I'll delete this fill. The only thing I want over here is stroke and stroke color is black color so simply hit ok. And stroke width I'm going to choose 4 pixels and simply double click to, so it will automatically create one strip like this. Now let's go to the rectangle well, rectangle path one and over here in size we will reduce this size. So instead of 1. 920 let's make this 1820 and let's see what we are get we are gonna get something like this so let's make this 920 minus set somewhere around 50 like this and this is 100 so we will make this 50 and let's see let's decrease this size like this and a little bit like this okay so we will get this extra box over here and now we have to animate our text so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this text let's bring this at the top select this text press p for position create one keyframe and go to around eight seconds and i'm gonna move this thing out of this composition like this somewhere around over here now let's go to the start now we will select this text we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it we will hit u so we can see the key keyframes of this text and now with the help of this position word we will delete this keyframes like this so one text is moving and one text is still there now let's go to the last keyframe of this second layer and now we will select this text which is static text and now with the help of parent and link we will parent this with this second text so now we are gonna get something like this but if you see after that it's not gonna move it again so what we need to do we need to apply loop out expression so simply alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it so we will get discontinuous throughout our animation like this now right click new and create one null object uh, or instead of null objects you can simply create one adjustment layer like this is just an extra layer in case if you want to enhance it further like this and now let's create another composition but before that i think we need to add one thing called uh, what we call this shadow or something uh, but we will add it later and now press ctrl n to create another composition and i'll call it as text or uh, let's call it as three text and height i'm going to choose 300 like this and simply hit ok now we will bring that text strip over here and i'll go to the align tab and i'll choose align at bottom like this then select this hit ctrl d then choose align vertically which is in the middle then hit ctrl d and then we will choose align at the top 
so as you can, can see we are gonna get something like this now select this text strip which is in the middle and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect on it simply double click to apply and you can swap these colors so you'll get something like this and now there is another thing you can do simply right click go to the time and choose time reverse layers so if you see this this is gonna be in opposite direction and if you want to say change the sequence of color simply right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and again search for tint effect and apply and you can swap this color so you will get this alternations okay so this portion is also done uh, i'll choose swap for because i want this to be black for what reason i'll we will see you then let's go to the main animation and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window and we will simply bring our two text comp and i'll move this over here i think i should name this three text so hit ctrl k to open the project setting and instead of two i'm gonna tap three and simply hit okay okay so we are here so press s and we will scale it somewhere around like this now let's make this 70 which is proper now select this text strip go to the effect and presets panel and search for mesh warp effect and simply double click to apply now rows we will hit one and columns also one so now if you see we if i touch over here i'll get this handle so i'll move this handle totally up to here like this then i'll click on this point then i'll select this point and i'll also move this totally up to here after that i'm going to select this then i'll again select click on this mesh warp and then i'm going to select this point and i'll bring this handle over here if you disappear again select this point and move this over here then select this handle and with the help of that i'm gonna move this handle over here like this okay so if i hit play i'm gonna get something like this now select this hit ctrl d select the second one and let's unlink this and instead of plus 70 let's call it as minus 70 so as you guys know we are gonna get this kind of strip like this okay so now uh, let's select this second one which is this one is for for back so let's change the color of this one or let's say some different color of this one and for this one is also should be in different color so we can understand this is at the top and this is at the bottom so now we will select this text we will right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project and we will select this and we will hit ctrl d we will select this and by holding alt i will simply drag and drop on this one so it will automatically replace it and double click to open this as you guys can see we are going to get something like this so simply right click new create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 so it's gonna be something like that and if you see over here we'll get something like this but we don't want this uh, animation should be in this direction we want this should be in opposite direction so what we need to do again we will go inside this second door which is our duplicate comp as you guys know we have one text strip comp over here so simply double click again select all the text and by holding alt i'll replace it like this and right click not right click but let's go inside this we will hit u and we will select those keyframes then right click keyframe assistant time reverse keyframes so now if you see this as you guys go this is coming from here and this text is going from here so this is how you can create this kind of stuff now you can select this hit ctrl d press r for rotation and you can make it 45 degree again hit ctrl d press r let's type 90 like this or let's say 45 plus 45 which is 90 obviously hit ctrl d press r let's rotate it again let's do plus sorry plus 45 like this okay and we will follow same thing for this one also so hit ctrl d select this press r let's make it 45 select this hit ctrl d select this let's make this 90 
select this hit control d press r not this one but let's go 90 plus 45 like this okay so right click new go to the null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it like this so we are gonna get something like this okay so and if you want some alternation you can select this one like which is over here you can bring this at the top so you will get this kind of alternations also but let's stick to this one okay so this is how you can create this kind of typographic animation and you can go inside this text strip and there is another thing you can do like you can create shadows for at this box so for that what we are going to do we are going to select this rectangle and then we will choose fill and we will choose black color and i don't want any stroke so let's delete this stroke and then i'm going to create one shape like this then press ctrl alt home go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect and apply this gaussian blur and volume blurriness i'm going to choose 500 like this and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d and let's one move this one over here also like this so if you see as you can see we are gonna get one shadow for each and every one and what we need to do we need this shadow for this three text two comb also so double click to open this select the shape layers hit ctrl c and we'll go to the, this layer and we'll hit ctrl v so we get one shadow over here also so this is how you can create this kind of shadows and if you want if you think that this shadow is too much color so you can simply hit t for opacity let's make this opacity to 40 to 50, around 50 also select this press t and let's make this 50 also like this so we are going to get something like this you can select this text strip you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for drop shadow effect on it like this let's enable this uh, icon so you can see only this one and let's increase the distance to 10 and direction let's choose 0 and softness let's choose 100 like this and increase the distance to 20 like this and opacity let's choose 20 and select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c or uh, instead of that let's make this distance 40 to sorry uh, 40 to let's say 30 and select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c to copy select all of them and simply hit ctrl v so we will get the little bit drop shadow effect for this one also and if you want you can select this and you can increase the scale of it also and if you want then you can decrease the scale of it it's totally up to you and then if you want you can press r for rotation create one keyframe and if you guys know that if you go inside this text strip and if you hit u the final keyframe is at 8 seconds so the, and then i have applied this looping expressions which means at 8 seconds this animation gonna be in the form of loop so let's go to the main animation and we will hit n over here so now if i play this from here as you can see again from the start it will appear like in the form of loop then 8 second is my looping point you can say then i'll go to the 8 second i'll select this null object and if you want it's totally up to you you can rotate it on let's say 90 degree or maybe or let's say one complete rotation which is 360 degree like this and you can choose quarter resolution so you will get this rotation animation also but i would not recommend to do that so let's not rotate this and i'm gonna delete this null object and if i see this animation in full resolution i'm gonna get something like this if you think this drop shadow is too much you can also remove that and then press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one solid background layer and i'll move this over here now again you can create another adjustment layer and you can apply tint effect on it to change the colors of this one you can swap these colors like this then you will get something like this then you can change the color this to someone else and this to someone else so you will get different results so you can play around with this technique and you can create so many seamless typographic animations if you want so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video
until then stay tuned